Hi, and welcome back. I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, the Sleep Doctor. I'm a clinical psychologist and board certified sleep specialist. For the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you ways to get better sleep so you can perform and think at your best. In our last video, I talked about how different types of light affect us differently and how they affect our sleep. Specifically, I talked about blue light and how recent studies have shown it to be devastating to our sleep and our circadian rhythm. A while back when I was on CBS This Morning, we were discussing about blue light exposure and how to manage it. I introduced a new study that was conducted on blue light's negative effects on the human brain and how it interferes with your sleep. The study of healthy young adults found that exposure to blue light from computer screens between the hours of 9 and 11 p.m. did three different things. First, it shortened the subject's total sleep time. Next, it significantly suppressed the subject's melatonin production. And finally, it diminished overall sleep quality in those subjects by increasing the frequency of nighttime awakenings. This study was substantiated by other studies that show that short wavelength blue light suppresses your body's melatonin production more than twice as much as other light wavelengths. As many of you know, melatonin is a natural hormone produced by your body to help you begin the sleep process. It's been long known that exposure to light will trigger your body to slow down melatonin production because your body assumes that when you're exposed to light, it must be daytime and you shouldn't be sleeping, so no melatonin for you. But what this new study found was that not all light affected melatonin production the same way. Blue light, the short, high energy light coming from the sun, your phone, computer, TV, or indoor lights, shuts down your melatonin production more than twice as much as any other colors. This means that blue light is stopping your body from producing what you need for a good night's rest. And the other wavelengths are not. So if you can avoid or filter out just the blue light from hitting your eyes in the evening hours, you will allow your body to produce its own natural sleep aid in the amounts that you need to get restful, full night's sleep. I want to thank you all for joining me again, and I encourage you to keep watching this series so you can learn more of my tools, hacks, and knowledge that can get the rest you deserve so you can start functioning at your peak performance. Remember to subscribe to this channel and tell your friends about this series so that they can also achieve a great night's sleep. Be well and see you next time. This is Dr. Michael Bruce wishing you sweet dreams.